Okay, we good? We online? Yes. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for our weekly live stream event. Uh, I'm going to apologize uh, for <laughs> last week. We had some technical errors. I know that uh, uh, Lise was able to um, cobble together the pieces, the different pieces that we did and edit them all into one video. So I know that there is available somewhere, uh, probably on the YouTube channel or somewhere here, maybe on Facebook. Uh, we're back live on Facebook <laughs> still again. Um, um, right. So, uh, last week we did, a, a you know, did a couple of trays. We're trying to, uh, create a kind of a video catalog of all of our, um, items, starting with the pendants. Um, I'm going to try to not let this go too long again this week. I know I say that every week, but, uh, you know, we're <laughs> really going to uh, do that. Um, Sylvia Findings, we've been around since 2004, I think is uh, the, the thing, something. I, I've only been here, uh, I guess, going on three years. I mean, three years soon. Um we're your premier uh, supplier for silver, sterling silver findings, uh, beads, pendants, bales, wire, sheet metal, you name it. Uh, we also have some gold, uh, 18 karat gold findings uh, that are available on the website. You can check that up on the website and there are quite a few of them are up now. Uh, I think there are still a few pieces missing from that, uh, from the gold selection, but um, you know, Slowly but surely, we get it together. There's always more things coming in. Is my point. And uh, you know, we used to do so many shows uh, over the year, like twenty something shows a year. So we're pretty much every other weekend, we were out somewhere meeting you folks, meeting people, saying hi, uh, you know, uh, helping you with your um, selections and stuff. And uh, you know, we miss it obviously. So uh, in uh, the new normal, as we call it, um, we're getting together this way. Uh, no need for a mask, <laughs> no need for social distancing. Uh, how close can you get to uh, <laughs> uh, each other this way? Uh, get really close to your screen. Let's see if we can infect each other. Um, I'm not going to go too far into it because this is uh, obviously kind of a, a timely topic, but um, ultimately, the whole purpose of the video is not going to be timely. It's going to be timeless. It's going to be something that you can look at in a year and go back and say, oh, right, this is what they were saying about that particular, you know, pendant or something. But I do want to mention, I know, uh, you know, the way, as we're recording here, it's November the 3rd or 4th? 4th. <laughs> It's the day after the U.S. elections, uh, or, or the day after the voting happened. Uh, still haven't been decided. But uh, uh, I just want to mention uh, shipping seems to be tightening up a little bit. Uh, things are getting a little bit better. We shipped something to Ontario this week, uh, no, last week, and uh, I specifically made a note because it was to Brampton, which is um, not a major center. It's a pretty big center. Don't get me wrong. It, you know, don't, don't hurt me, people from Brampton. Um uh, and it was only seven days uh, shipping. So that was, I know it seems like oh, you're living in a third world country, Mark. No, no, no. It, it, that 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 that's pretty good for us. But it's been a lot worse. It was like two weeks, um, a little while ago. Um, shipping into the states is also, uh, you know, getting <laughs> getting okay again. Uh, you know, slowly but surely, uh, we've shipped stuff all over the states, and and uh, I think the the longest we've had um, was six days uh, to Virginia. Uh, I know that's East Coast; it's not really South, but it's pretty South. Uh, it's pretty far away. It's the other side of the continent uh, from us, so um, that was pretty good. I thought um, you know things are looking up. Shipping overseas is still. If he, you're still, they're still saying within 75 days for shipping, and that's not a joke. That's actually what they suggest saying. So, so you know, uh, again, I always recommend that if you're, um, you know, ordering from uh, Australia or Japan, um, Malta, we get a lot of orders from Malta, which is great. Uh, I have to go there one day. Um, uh, England, of course, you know, or Great Britain, uh, lots of orders from there. Uh, I really recommend. Um, just ordering enough stuff, and I, I know that seems sound totally self-serving, but uh, 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 bump up your orders to make it worthwhile to ship via uh, DHL, uh, 
uh, using the expedited thing because uh, expedited you're looking at two or three days um, you know at the most I think we shipped something to Australia and it was only three days shipping which to me is uh, amazing um, considering you know even 75 days is is <laughs> is close um, you know it's more expensive yes it's definitely more expensive but you know you get what you pay for um, <laughs> usually so I just wanted to keep that in mind um, thing that generally it's a good idea if you uh, uh, allow time for shipping I know the shipping is going to get a little bit slower now as we're heading into the Christmas season there'll be more and more packages up there although I can't imagine there being much more than there is during a global pandemic anyway when everybody's ordering <laughs> spoons off Amazon or whatever um, so, I mean, there's just a lot of shipping happening in the world, and, and uh, uh, unfortunately, everything is getting slower. So just be patient. You'll get your stuff. Um, once again, if you share this live stream with someone, let us know, or I guess we'll know. Uh, we'll see it. Uh, we'll send you one of these uh, uh, lovely polishing cloths. Um I'm going to be... Uh, uh, I'm going to start with a tray of... Uh, you know, kind of standard uh, ovals and rounds and, and pair uh, um, pendants. But I just want to say before I get going, uh, I'm going to be quoting prices. There's a retail price and a wholesale price. Uh, the retail price is just the retail price. You can buy one or whatever. Uh, to get the wholesale price, you need to uh, spend a minimum $150 Canadian dollars. So U.S. dollars, I don't know what that is. It's <laughs> not much. Um uh, and if you're going to do that over the website, um, you just have to register uh, for wholesale prices because you won't see them if you just log into the website as a regular customer. You'll just see retail prices. Uh, once you register as a wholesale customer, when you log in with your wholesale credentials, you'll be uh, ported to a mirror site that uh, has all the prices in uh, the wholesale prices listed. And the wholesale prices, uh, you know, vary pretty greatly depending on uh, you know what's involved in making the pieces there's a lot of you know after casting labor uh, you know some pieces need to be assembled and and you know the labor cost is actually more than the casting cost uh, you know the cost of the material so you know some things uh, have uh, wider uh, variances than others but generally you're looking at something like anywhere between uh, as low as 25 percent to uh, 45 maybe 50 percent you know discount for wholesale so um it just depends on the uh, thing. Uh, and you'll see, you know, as I'm going through with the prices, you'll get an idea of the difference between the two. Um, okay, we're going on. We're going to carry on. Enough preamble. Um, this first one, I've already got a stone in there. This is just a regular old, let me just uh, get a bigger version of this out. Um, it's a regular kind of basket. I think it's not a super deep basket, but uh, you know, it's not a thing. It's got a nice decorative bale there. I don't know if you can see that, right? Um, and this one, I've got a, a little faceted moonstone in there. I don't know if you can see that. Why is that not focusing? Come on, come on. Yes, I'm going to do it. Okay, well, there you go. Let's focus. MTP1006 for a 7 by 9 millimeter oval stone. Uh, retail price is $11.44 and the wholesale price is seven fifteen. dollars uh, This is a faceted stone that I've got in there. The prongs are... Um, this is not going to focus. The prongs are plenty high to do that. Um, I did want to show you that depending on the height of your stone... Um, you can also get cabochons to work in that, right? Here's a pretty thin cab, right? Those prongs definitely come up inside the perimeter once you push those closed. So if it's a thin cab, it'll work great. You know, uh, I've, I've said lots of um, uh, opals and uh, um, amylites and things like that in those kinds of settings, and they work great and they look great. Um, you know, because the basket is not huge, so it's not going to make a lot of weight and make it push forward. Um, yeah. But if it's a really tall cab, 
uh, you might have difficulty because the prongs aren't super long. You know, they're long enough. Um, you know, uh, sometimes, a lot of times in cabochons, you'll you'll get, you know, the dome at the top sort of thing is kind of curved, and then the, the edges are very square, very flat. So the bottom and the edge is like 90 degrees. Depending on how high that edge is, the prongs not might not be tall enough to push over onto the perimeter to be able to hold the stone in there. Uh, if the it has a, a, a dome where the dome goes all the way to the very edge, of the thing, then it doesn't matter how big the prongs are, you'll be able to hold the you know the perimeter of the stone. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, well, I guess unless you're trying to set something in here and it doesn't work. MTP one zero zero eight is uh, the, the setting for an eight by ten stone or a ten by eight stone. Uh, retail price is twelve oh six. Wholesale price seven fifty four. And we've got this in a bunch of sizes, and I'm going to go through them all. This is uh, for a <clears throat> 9x11 MTP1003. Retail price is $12.38, and the wholesale price is $7.74. Um, this for a 10x12 stone, uh, MTP1007. And the uh, retail price is $13.31, and the wholesale price is $8.32. This one, MTP1005 for a 14 by 10 millimeter stone. Uh, retail price is $13.52 and the wholesale price is $8.45. Uh, oh, before when I mentioned uh, that the minimum was $150, uh, I should mention that's $150 at the wholesale price, right? So you need to order like, oh, I don't know, 17 of those. Uh, uh, you could bring 11 of these. It wouldn't, it wouldn't this 845 wouldn't reach 150 if you only does that make sense anyway I don't think it does uh, next size up uh, for a 12 by 14 or 14 by 12 stone MTP 1002 and the retail price is 1373 and the wholesale price is 858 the next one in that size range is MTP 1009 uh, 16 by 12 millimeter um, retail price is fourteen seventy-seven, and the wholesale price is nine twenty-three. And the next one, thirteen by eighteen oval. That focus, come on, focus. No, okay. MTP one zero zero four. The retail price sixteen twenty-two, and the wholesale price. Um, Ten dollars and fourteen cents. I'm looking at something else here. Uh, the I think the biggest one we've got in this style is yeah this uh, fifteen by twenty millimeter oval. Um, MTP one zero one zero retail price is seventeen eighty nine and the wholesale price is eleven dollars and eighteen cents. And again, um, just want to point this out. Uh, the seat on these things, you know, I don't know if you could see that, how it's uh, diagonal. It's kind of like at a 45 degree angle, uh, which would be perfect for, um, you know, a cut stone uh, to allow the stone to sit in there and the, uh, the culet to extend out the back if it has to, uh, which is great uh, unless you have a really, really deep stone. Uh, with a very pointy pavilion, and uh, then you know it might rub against your chest and make you angry. Uh, so the same style, right? It's just you know a nice uh, uh, plain classic basket with a nice little decorative uh, bale. I wonder if you can see that. It kind of has a little curly cues in there in the bale, uh, sort of a filigree style. Um, got a couple of rounds. This one is for an eight millimeter round stone. MTP one zero one one. We've got, um, I think this is out of order. We're at 12 millimeter round, MTP 1013. Uh, 13.31 is the retail price, and $8.32 is the wholesale price. Um, MTP 1014. Uh, 14 millimeter round stone for $15.39 is the retail price, and 962 is the wholesale price. Um, now, there's a couple of other 
oval ones that are a little bit different. That's a much deeper basket. Um, so if you have stones with, you know, very deep uh, pavilions, um, even ones that are pointy, much less uh, worrying about, uh, 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 you know, the, the culet of the stone rubbing on your uh, chest or whatever, making you uh, uh, cranky. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, again, you could probably, you know, use a cab for this thing. The problem with putting a cabochon in this is that all of the weight is forward of the bale and it makes the, um, you know, the pendant pull forward on your, on your neck when it, when you're uh, holding it. It'll still work if it's a low d uh, dome, you know, like a amylite maybe or something. Uh, but cut stones, I think definitely are better in this thing. Um, if you need a 10 by 12 for, uh, um, uh, for a cabochon, we have this other one that has a much lower, um, much lower basket. Uh, anyway, MTP1007B for a 10 by 12 millimeter stone. Retail price is 1331. Wholesale price is eight dollars and thirty-two cents. And uh, again, you know, I don't want to dissuade anybody from trying to use something for uh, one kind of stone or not for another. Uh, just you know, just because the settings are designed for one specific uh, kind of stone doesn't mean that it won't work for another kind of stone. Like this one, you know, the seat uh, uh, here is basically flat. So you know, and very very low. Uh, basket. So ostensibly, this is designed for uh, a, you know cabochon. Um, but having said that, I think it would look great. Uh, cut stone in there would look great. Um, lovely, you know, bale with a cubic zirconi in there. Pretty big bale for a uh, nine by eleven millimeter stone. MTP one zero two eight is the SKU. A retail price twelve sixty. Wholesale price is seven fifty five. And now we've got some pairs, I guess, for the whole rest of the tray. Is first one is a kind of a nice, elegant um, for a pear stone. Uh, lovely uh, cubic zirconia encrusted swirl in the bale. Nice wide bale there, um, and pretty tall prongs, so you can get you know a cab in there. You can get a cut stone in there. A 12 by 14 millimeter pear shaped stone is what you're looking for to put in there. Um, MTP 1030 is the SKU. Uh, retail price is 27.01, and the wholesale price is 16.21. Um, now um, this is a uh, this is out of order, but that's okay. There'll be some bigger ones, some smaller ones. So this is you know basically the same um, you know version of these very simple uh, oval baskets that we did at the beginning of the tray. Uh, only these are for pairs. Um, and these ones have the single prong at the top, right, uh, with a notch carved out of it. So you're going to want to use um, pear-shaped stones that have a pretty pointy uh, top. If the top of the pear is, you know, kind of rounded, um, they won't work as well, or they could they could slip out, uh, you know, I guess it depends on how curved it is. Um, but um, cut stones, I think, uh, uh, work best in here, although I have set many cabochons in these kind of uh, settings. Um, and again, the only um, you know, limiting factor is if the uh, the top of the point comes to a point enough that can get caught inside the little notch inside there, uh, you're golden. Otherwise, um, you're not. It could slip out. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Uh, this is for a 12 by 10 millimeter uh, pear shape stone, meaning uh, uh, 12 millimeter tall, 10 millimeter wide. And when we do this for pears, the 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 width uh, is the widest, you know, width. So if you were to measure the widest parts against each other, that that would be the dimension for that thing. So in this case, uh, 12 millimeters tall by 10 millimeter wide. 1331 is the retail price. 832 is the wholesale price. Uh, and again, I said we'd be jumping around here in sizes. Here's one much smaller one um, for a seven by nine millimeter pair. Uh, pretty cues in the uh, bale. 
P1015. Uh, retail price is 1082, and the wholesale price is 676. And the next one, MTP1016 for an 8 by 11 millimeters or 11 by 8 millimeter uh, pear shaped stone. Uh, retail price is 1165, and the wholesale price is 728. The next one, MTP1017 for an 11 by 9 millimeter uh, pair. 12.06 is a retail price, and 7.54 is the wholesale price. And here's one that's a little bit different. Uh, it's got kind of a plain bale <clears throat> for a 9 by 14 millimeter pair of stone. Now this one, the top, I don't know if you can see that has the double prongs, right? So doesn't matter what the top of that is. It could be really super pointy top, could be a little bit curved, and those double prongs, which I kind of prefer personally, uh, I just find them easier to, to set with or to, uh, yeah, to set with. Uh, and a little less angsty about setting these around, uh, uh, you know, a cut stone with a very, very pointy uh, top because, you um, Faceted stones with a very, very pointy top, at the point, it ends up getting pretty thin. And if you're pushing a chevron down or one of those uh, other single post downs on top of them, um, it's easy if you don't have a little bit of experience uh, to push too hard and to crack that you know, sort of thing. But uh, so just be mindful of that. Uh, you know, you don't have to push too much in those kind of things. But on these, you could push this right down over onto the stone uh, and it'll be gr great. Again, this is a. Uh, you know, not very deep basket, so it's perfect for cabochons, uh, and will also definitely work for cut stones. Uh, again, 9 by 14, MTP 288 is your uh, skew. Uh, retail price is 13.57, and the wholesale price is 9.85. Here's another. Think back to those, uh, you know, same old same old things with a lovely filigree bale. Um, low dome again with the single uh, prong at the top uh, thing. and I, again you know I don't want to dissuade you from you know trying those things there's you know stone setting is really not a uh, difficult thing to do uh, MTP 1019 uh, for a 14 by 12 millimeter pear shaped stone retail price is 1409 and the wholesale price is 852 The next one in the tray is MTP1020 for a 16 by 12 millimeter pair. The retail price is $14.56 and wholesale price is $9.10. The MTP1021 for a 13 by 18 millimeter pair stone. Uh, retail price is $15.08 and wholesale price is $9.43. And the last one in this particular tray, uh, MTP1022 for a um, 20 by 15 millimeter pair. Retail price is 17.47, and wholesale price is 10.92. Now, pairs are, are kind of have the biggest variation, I think. You know, like you would think that uh, 16 by 12 and 13 by 18. Um, there's just so many different variations you can get on those kind of things. Some are, you know, really tall, you know, pairs. Some are very squat, you know, like that one. So, uh, so many variations um, that it's hard to carry every one. And how many different um, pairs we have or, you know, pear-shaped uh, settings we have there's always going to be that, yeah, but don't you have <laughs> one for this measurement? Uh, the next tray is uh, mostly all triangles or trillions or trilliums or whatever you want to call it. Um, this tiniest one is for a 3x3 three three triangle stone. Uh, I like these a lot because these... Um, uh, the prongs are in the middle of the uh, uh, of the rays. You know, they're not at the ver at the corners. Um, you can, you know, I've seen them in the corners, and we do have some that that catch them at the corners. Um, 
but I just find that these, you know, less chance of cracking the stone, uh, it just feels more secure to me for some reason when the, uh, the let me just show you a bigger version of that. Uh, it just feels more secure when the prongs are in the center of the, uh, of the, of the ray of the stone, of the side of the stone instead of in the corners. I don't know why, but We've got a bunch of sizes of this. This one just has a loop in the top, so there's no bail on it, just a loop. MTP 822 for a three millimeter triangle. Retail price is 498, and the wholesale price is <laughs> 333. I wonder if Marvel did that on purpose for a three millimeter stone. 333. <laughs> Very appropriate price uh, for that thing. So dusty. Uh, the next one for a four millimeter triangle, again, just the loop uh, in the top of that. Uh, MTP 821. Retail price is 555 and the wholesale price is 369 Oh, should have been 444 anyway. <laughs> And the, the customer will crush in your price. That's right. <laughs> I mean, oh, you're just making it up as you go. Uh, five millimeters. So this one has that, um, I call it a rabbit, uh, you know, bale, but... Um, it's just a split bale on the top. Uh, MTP 820 for a five millimeter triangle. Retail price is 735. Wholesale price is 490. Uh, the next one on this is uh, MTP 819 for a six millimeter um, stone. Retail price 833. The wholesale price is oh this <laughs> this one is 555. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, here's one for a seven millimeter again that same uh, rabbit ears uh, bale which is just a split bale at the top uh, and again these are you know not super deep but deep enough um, MTP 818 for a seven millimeter triangle retail price is 907 and the wholesale price is 606 um, I've set cut stones in these I've set uh, cabochons in these um, you know all work the only uh, problem is because sometimes that stabilizing uh, bar down at the bottom which is stamp 925 there right um, that provides structural integrity so that when you're pushing on one side the whole thing doesn't warp um, that just you know holds everything nice and straight it's got to be there uh, there's not really a way to get around you know having some kind of a stabilizing force there um, but if you have a stone with a super deep pavilion right uh, sometimes one of the corners can get caught in the center of that thing and there really there's not really a whole lot you can do besides finding away you know some of that um, you know, you've got to have some of it. You don't need to have maybe quite so much, but you could definitely get away with filing a little bit of it. Uh, and the only problem with that is then you'd be filing, you know, you might file off some of the 95 stamp on there. So, um, also the stone may come out. Also, yeah, if you, if you completely remove, you know, that, that stabilizing, um, uh, section that stabilizing bar on the end then yeah then the whole setting becomes a, a little less uh, structurally integrous and um, and the stone could pop out if it you know if it if it gets pushed on one side uh, then the whole thing will shift easily and the stone will just pop right out um, so MTP 817 uh, this one's for an eight millimeter stone Eight millimeter triangle, trillion, trillium, whatever. Nine forty-five is the retail price. Six thirty-one is the wholesale price. We should have a conversation one day about <laughs> deciding what we're going to call triangular-shaped stones between trilliums, trillions. Uh, I've seen them described so many different ways, uh, and there doesn't seem to be a. Um, Anyway, an official name for it. Uh, MTP 816 for a 9mm triangular stone. Retail price 1138. Wholesale price is 758. And getting bigger. 10mm now. MTP 815. Retail price is 1375. And the wholesale price is 918. Next one, of course, is 11 millimeters for MTP 814. Uh, retail price is 16.06, and the wholesale price is 10.70. Uh, 
uh, the 12 millimeter version of this MTP 813 1694 is the retail price and 1130 is the wholesale price the 13 millimeter version it does eventually stop I promise MTP 812 is the SKU number uh, retail price 2027 and the wholesale price is 1351 if you have a 14 millimeter stone triangle stone MTP 811 there was a retail retail price of 1881 and the wholesale price is 1255 for a 15 millimeter stone the MTP 810 um, retail price is 2209 and the wholesale price is 1473 and the last one the biggest one we don't have a 16 millimeter but we've got that 17 millimeter one uh mtp 809 and that's kind of a giant stone if you have one that big uh retail price 24.95 and the wholesale price is 16.63 uh and in this one you can see that stabilizing bar again a real good example of that you know you can see how that might potentially uh only if you have a stone with a super big deep uh, pavilion right does it become an issue um, and you know I we've sold a lot of these um, on Etsy and not that size specifically um, but one of the um, along with the reviews one of the remarks that I've seen most about that particular line of settings is that they're so chunky they feel so substantial and so um, uh, you know, heavy duty, you know, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, when you find these kind of, you know, findings online and stuff, they're cast so uh, thinly, you know, and, and I, I get it, you know, it's, you want to make an economy thing, you got to make it thin, um, you know, so it doesn't take up as much silver, it's, uh, you know, less heavy, uh, but you're going to lose, you know, um, you know the structural integrity and you know, the quality of the piece overall uh, goes down if you're worried about <laughs> the stone you know uh, popping out the first time you know somebody goes dancing um, anyway uh, here's a, a triangular setting and I've got a couple different sizes of these maybe I'll show you the biggest one um, just so you can see this particular line right so it's a trillion setting triangular setting uh, but these have the corner prongs, the corner double prongs. And this is my favorite way to do this. If you're going to do this, this is the best way, I think. These corner prongs, uh, doesn't matter what kind of cut you have on your stone. Uh, those prongs will be able to hold it in there. Um, and you can, you know, bend those over onto the stone without worrying about, am I pushing too hard? Am I not pushing hard enough? Um, uh, you can get those prongs on there. They're all pre-notched, very easy to push down onto the stone um, without worrying about cracking it. Uh, the and I think we have some others that um, I might show you later um, that have chevron uh, or single, you know, posts uh, that are just a little bit trickier. Uh, to do I think anyway uh, this particular setting we've got this available in um, four millimeter all the way up through nine millimeter now the four millimeter one is the only one that doesn't have a bail it's just got a loop uh, it doesn't have a bail solder to it MTP 826 for a four by four millimeter triangle or retail price is 607 and the wholesale price is 380 Uh, we got this next one, MTP 825 uh, for a five millimeter stone. Retail price is 676, and the wholesale price is 423. Again, from five millimeter up, these all have bales uh, attached to them. So this one, uh, six millimeter uh, version of that, MTP 1145, 1145 for a six millimeter trillion. Uh, retail I'm just going to use every name I can for the triangle stones uh, <laughs> retail price 676 is the uh, that retail price wholesale price is 423 and uh, next size up is seven millimeters for trillium <laughs> stone MTP 824 seven by seven uh, triangle retail price 679 and wholesale price 
452. And again, the biggest of that particular version uh, we've got is this MTP823 for a 9 millimeter trillion trillium triangle stone. Uh, retail price 871 and the wholesale price is 580. And we've got an another one, slightly different uh, uh, version, kind of um, simple, plain, uh, but this MTP 289 for a 14 millimeter uh, triangle stone. Now this one would work best for, um, uh, and, and, and if it's a pointy, pointy corners on your uh, triangle stone, uh, it's not going to work in this setting because these don't have notches on the inside of the prongs. This is for uh, traditionally or, or, or ostensibly, this is made, uh, designed for uh, cabochon, um, or a cut stone that has beveled edges that doesn't have sharp corners. So if the shape of the stone is exactly like that seat, right? You see how the the, the edges are not pointy; they're kind of uh, square, uh, cut off. That's um, the shape stone that you're looking for. And those prongs, again, uh, good size prongs. So even if it's a pretty tall cab, um, you should be able to get that on there, um, right? Again single uh, level so uh, cut stone if the pavilion is not too deep it would be perfect in there uh, but again it's got to be uh, uh, sized right so that the corners are not pointy uh, for that stone some people have end up with you know try a trillion stone or triangular stones that don't have points in the corners and then they're like oh, because most of the trillium settings you know won't work for those kind of uh, cuts. Yeah. We fixed your problem. Uh, <laughs> assuming it's 14 millimeter stone, anyway. Uh, here's a, a pear shaped stone, another pear shape going back there. This is just a simple, you know, little um, pear shaped stone for a 4 by 6 millimeter pear or 6 by 4. MTP 797. Uh, retail price 631, wholesale price is 394. Uh, and this just has a loop in the top. Um, right? <coughs> So if you have a cup a pair of stones, you can very easily attach ear wires to those. Um, if you want to do something really cool, you can snip that loop off, solder that um, setting to something else, a ring, shank, or whatever crazy pendant you're making and, and, and set a stone in there, right? Uh, add an accent. There's always another way. There's a another pair uh, setting uh, for a six by nine uh, pair this one has the bail incorporated into the design right so there's no bail no loop and everything um ostensibly again the with the flat seats for uh cabochon but um good size prongs you could definitely put a cut stone in there too if you want um and again i big fan of the double prongs at the top uh, instead of the single chevron i uh, think i just think that's way less angsty if you're a beginner um you know if you've been setting stones for years uh it's not a big deal um, i mean it's still kind of <laughs> i still get a little bit of angst when i have those uh chevrons in the corners uh, uh, or the single prongs with the notches. Here's one for a 13 by 18 millimeter uh, pear shaped stone. Lovely uh, scroll work there. Uh, some, uh, I don't know, twisty wire, kind of almost mill grain uh, border around the edge of that thing. Um, this again for a cabochon or a cut stone, either would work great in this setting. MTP 609, retail price is 33.67, and the wholesale price is uh, 1924. There's a, I should just point out there's a, these ribbons here on the side have uh, cubic zirconia set in them. Uh, I think so. Those are lovely. Wait a minute. This is exactly the same thing, only 12 by 18 millimeters. <laughs> Maybe when. Uh, the, we reordered them. Probably we reordered this thing, and then when the uh, design... Oh no, this one doesn't have prongs. Never mind. <laughs> it's not the same at all. I mean, the design is the same. It's exactly the same. MTP 614 for a 12 by 18 millimeter 
This you would have to use a cabochon, uh, glue that in there. Uh, retail price $24.57 and the wholesale price is $14.04. So it's basically they took the same design and they just uh, modified it uh, with no prongs um, and for a slightly smaller um, stone. So that is the end of that next tray. Tray number eight. Now we're moving on to tray number nine. And this is the last tray uh, that we're working. Um, my timer here says 57 minutes, but I know that can't be right. That's, that's not when we... I think we're, a little, we're, we're like at 50 minutes or something. Um, MTP 505 for 11 by 15 millimeter oval. Um, and, and this is just... Uh, right lovely right you can use this uh, this bale in the frame right at the top if you can see that loop there it's kind of occluded by that uh, the string that we're holding into the thing uh, but the uh, bale is incorporated into into the frame we've got these lovely curly Q things at the top and the bottom very interesting MTP 505 uh, retail price is 1664 and the wholesale price is 1040. Uh, again, the seat looks like it's designed for a um, cut stone. The prongs are kind of average size, so uh, low dome cabs would fit great in there. Uh, high dome cabs, uh, you might have to <laughs> shave some of the bottom off. Uh, here's one, oh, here's one that we've got a stone already in that. For an 18 millimeter round, uh, we put a cabochon in here, right? Check those prongs. Gorgeous, and they come all the way right up onto the thing. And this is a pretty high dome uh, cab too, so nice. MTP 589 is that setting. Uh, retail price is 19.20, and the wholesale price is 12 dollars. Again, for an 18 millimeter cab, I'll just show you the back. It's just a you know kind of a simple frame with a nice open back. Um, that stone fits in there beautifully, which is probably why. It's the display. Uh, here's one. I always see an owl when I look at this setting for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, uh, it's probably the two big eyes at the top. Um, <laughs> oh, and now that I've told you that I see an owl, you're never going to not see an owl when you see this setting. But uh, uh, So never mind. Forget I said that. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of cubic zirconias around around the bit, around the uh, the edge of the seat. Uh, and these lovely uh, curly Q... Um, Oh, they're eyeballs. Come on. Let's just call them that. And a soldered loop and a bale. MTP 973 for a 10 by 14. I know that it says 14 by 10. And when I uh, grew up uh, owning a bead store, we always automatically used the smaller number first. Uh, so <laughs> I'm still getting used to Three years later, I'm still getting used to uh, how we do different things uh, here by 10 millimeter oval uh, retail price is 2023 and the wholesale price is 1265 and I think it's just because the uh, supplier that we had um, that we got a lot of stones from in India they always just measured them that way the shortest side first so I guess just got used to it uh, MTP 544 you can tell I <laughs> probably uh, wrote the thing for this because it's in the right order. 8 by 10 millimeter is the oval. Uh, retail price seventeen twenty four, and the wholesale price ten seventy eight. This is a lovely you know, kind of leafy uh, motif at the top with a big cubic zirconia in the bottom. Um, it's kind of lovely scrolly, you know, effects. Um, now we're getting, to, getting into some very cool uh, settings this for a 12 a 10 by 12 setting uh, oval MTP 967 retail price is 22.88 and the wholesale price is 14.30 again this nice pretty nice deep basket so uh, I think, and this is very cool uh, how the back is kind of flowery looks like a flower um, right so you could definitely put a cut stone in there um, the seat would also work for a cabochon uh, the prongs are a good size, so, you know, I don't like using high dome cabs in settings that have baskets, but you could definitely get away with it. This, uh, uh, the bale has cubic zirconias encrusted inside. Lovely uh, cubic zirconias all around the, the border of the seat. Um, that would just lovely, make a lovely frame for your stone in there. 
Uh, here's one MTP 978 for a 12 by 16 millimeter oval. Uh, retail price is 2018 and the wholesale price is 1261. Uh, this is just nice big bold um, you know ribbon sort of looking um, uh, components around the outside. Uh, cubic zirconia you know set um, in those kind of chevrons on the top on the sides. Uh, and in the top, and uh, a nice big one at the very top to set off your stone. Uh, again, this, pretty good size prong, so you can definitely get away with cabochon in there very easily. Uh, cut stone will also fit beautifully. You know, a lot of the times, they're kind of interchangeable. There are some settings that I would only recommend trying to put a cab in there, or only recommend trying to put a cut stone in there, but most of them are, you know, interchangeable. You can use them either way. Uh, MTP 955, and I love this filigree, you know, sort of, you know, frame work. You know, one of the most fun things that I like to do is just start with a piece of metal and bend it into a shape, you know, uh, it doesn't matter what shape it is, and then just fill it in with all these little kind of crazy things, um, uh, curly cues and kidney shapes and scrolls and, and things. Um... It's fun. Needlessly complex. Uh, this is not. This is very uh, elegant, very, uh, I don't know, almost Victorian. Not really. Uh, MTP 955 for an 18 by 13 millimeter pair shaped stone. The retail price is $20.01 and the wholesale price is $13.34. Uh, again, this you can get away with, uh, you know, a, a very pointy toy because you see the double prongs at the top of that pair. So you can get away with, you know, any, it doesn't matter what the uh, the, the pointy part of that uh cab or cut stone looks like if it's not super pointy you could yeah, if it is super pointy you can definitely set it in there if it's a little bit curved you can definitely set it in there either way it's all good um this one which is in a weird place in this tray because we have a whole bunch of other ones that are like this in another tray which i'll get to probably in another setting but this is a just a classic uh, oval gallery you know setting right i've uh, got this gallery um, style bezel, right, all the way around. Uh, has a soldered loop and bale. Uh, MTP 847 for an 8 by 10 millimeter um, cabochon. And, uh, or you could probably put a cut stone in there, but I think this uh, looks best with a cabochon. I've got one here, an 8 by 10 cab. Pop right in there. It's going to work. Well, anyway, I don't want to mess with it, but uh, you get the idea. With these, uh, uh, you have to set this like a bezel, right? Uh, once the stone is in there, you push all of these uh, tops of these uh, uh, bezel wall over onto the stone, and that holds it in place. Um, so again, if it's a super tall uh, cab, uh, may not work. I have seen somebody uh, actually set a cut stone in there. Uh, it was a pretty shallow... Uh, pavilion. I don't know if that one will work. I do have a cut stone. No, I think it was pretty high pavilion. If it was a pretty shallow pavilion stone, you can put a cut stone in there, and it looks really great once you push these over down onto the crown of the stone. Um, and it's not doesn't seem like an obvious uh, choice for that, but it definitely will work. Um, I guess it just depends on the edge geometry of your stone. Uh, Here's another uh, oval pendant for a 7 by 9 millimeter oval stone, cut stone or cabochon. These prongs are pretty good size, so uh, even a high dome cab, you could probably get away with doing that. If it's a really, really shallow um, dome cab or uh, cut stone, um, if the prongs are too long, very easy to cut these down and trim the ends so they're beautiful before you push them over. And I'm definitely going to do that uh, in, a, in a future video. Um, which may or may not be part of this series. I might just do it separately to put it on the website um, to show people how to dress the ends because sometimes the prongs uh, are just too long and it looks weird if you have way too much prong sticking over onto the top of the thing. And, and uh, you know, if you're a beginner uh, or not familiar with, you know, uh, uh, customizing these prongs, um, it might be uh, you might be scared to do it. But uh, whatever, don't be. It's super easy. MTP 541 is the skew for that. Again, for a 7x9 stone, retail price is $17.04. And the wholesale price is 10 dollars 
Um, here's another one for a nine by eleven millimeter stone. Uh, again, I would probably it, the the basket is super deep in this, um, but I don't know that I would try to put anything other than a cut uh, than a cabochon in there because you've got to glue it in there. I guess if it's in an opaque stone, uh, and I guess the very top of this uh, bezel wall is not super thick, so if the stone fit perfectly and it's a cut stone, you might be able to get away with pushing this bezel wall over onto it. Um, I might try to buy one and see if I can get that to work. MTP656 is the code for that. Uh, 9 by 11 millimeter uh, oval stone. Retail price 1548 Wholesale price 1161 And I just love how the back of that is just... Um, you don't always see that where the back is as beautiful as the front. Um, here's one MTP 968 for a 10 by 16 millimeter oval. Uh, retail price 1711 and the wholesale price 10 <clears throat> 1070. Uh, this again pretty tall prongs, so uh, ideally a cabochon cut stone would also fit in there. This uh, I love this border. It looks like a, a I don't know nested loops. Uh, right? If you've ever tried to take a jump ring and connect the jump ring into itself and then a jump ring into the two jump rings and then the third jump ring or fourth jump ring into the three jump rings and you lay them down, they, they make this kind of a, you know, spiral effect pattern. You know, I kind of like that. Um, our next one is MTP 954 for a 10 by 14 millimeter uh, cabochon or cut stone either will work in this. Uh, this got a pretty good uh, sized uh, depth basket. Um, just very uh, simple, classic, postmodern, industrial <laughs> sort of look to it uh, with a soldered loop and bail. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into the uh, uh, design features. Uh, MTP 691 for a 10 by 14 millimeter stone. Retail price twenty one oh six, and the wholesale price is eleven seventy. Um, this again, another uh, setting where you could get away with anything. A cabochon or a cut stone would work great in those. I love this. Uh, you know the cubic zirconia. Uh, you know set into these little bars and a bunch of marquise stones in the top here, um, just to give it a really super classic. Uh, look, you can't get wrong with that sparkle. Now, obviously, some stones, uh, you know, you might not, it might look weird if you put like a, a turquoise in there or something, but, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, or an opal or just about anything. MTP 531 for a 9 by 11 millimeter stone. Uh, retail price is $19.97, and the wholesale price is $12.48. Uh, just lovely kind of scroll work around the top. Not a super deep uh, basket, but it's definitely two levels. Uh, prongs big enough for a cabochon or a cut stone, unless it's, again, it's a super high dome. Um, even then, depending on how high it is, it's rare you get ones that are too high that even a prong like this won't be able to push over onto. Um, Here's another cutie, MTP 391 for an 8 by 10 millimeter stone. It's got this kind of a lotus flower thing at the, the top with cubic zirconias all the way around, making a border around your stone once it's set in there. Um, I think once a stone is set in there, it just... Right. Right, it's just gorgeous. You just get that circle of cubic zirconias around there. Focus on that, uh, and the big CZ up at the top. Uh, unless you hate tiger's eye, <laughs> but I think that's kind of gorgeous. Here's a rhodonite. I think that's too small. It's not the same size, right? But you get the idea. Looks good. Yeah, it does look good. It's gorgeous. Uh, MTP 972 for a 10 by 14 uh, millimeter cabochon or cut stone. Um, 
M, is our NTP 972, I said that. Uh, retail price 1468. Wholesale price is 918. Now the cool thing about this, uh, there's a couple cool things. I, I like this bale with the cubic zirconias in there. Um, uh, and the top, so you got these two prongs at the bottom, right? And the, the top is the whole structure of the uh, thing, all these uh, floral design elements. Um, and I don't think I have a stone that's exactly... Let's see if this will fit. We got one. I think these are going to be way too tall to fit in there. Yeah. Whatever, you get the idea, right? That would go under there, and then those pieces, these elements, right? You push those down onto the stone to hold it in place. Um, just super interesting. Um, piece. I don't know. Let's see. This is super interesting. So here's one that I wanted to show you. Uh, and I just have a stone in there. Uh, MTP 385 for 7 by 9 millimeter oval. Uh, the oval obviously uh, would be horizontal instead of vertical. Retail price 1889. Wholesale price is 1260. Now the prongs on this one are super long. So uh, this you know, is a pretty low dome, um, you know, cabochon, right? So, we would, by the time you push these big prongs over onto that, uh, unless you like that look, you're going to end up with prongs coming pretty far into the center of that thing. So, uh, you definitely want to be looking at uh, putting in a, a higher dome cab like this. I've got this, uh, right? So those, once you push those over, won't get too far into the perimeter of the stone and, and, and make it look like, what are those jagged things pushing into the center of my stone? You know, kind of thing. So, um, again, you know, having said that, it's very easy to trim these prongs if they're super long. Thing. And I've got one or two others in this tray that are longer. And I know that we have some that are just crazy long. Uh, um, but... That will work. Again, I don't remember if I said the skew, but I'm going to do it. MTP 385 for a 7 by 9 millimeter uh, oval. Uh, 1889 is the retail price. 1260 is the wholesale price. Again, that row of cubic zirconius in the bottom. I kind of love those accents. Here's a, a bigger one. MTP 673. For a 15 by 20 millimeter cabochon or cut stone, I think a cab would look better in this personally than a cut stone, but you could definitely get away with either. Uh, retail price 3107, and the wholesale price is 1864. And uh, again, not a very deep uh, basket, so probably cabochon is is suggested for this. Love that kind of scroll work, uh, floral scroll work there at the top. Lovely. Here's that other one I was talking about. I think this prongs are pretty tall in this one. See how tall those prongs are. Um, MTP four thirty four for a seven by nine millimeter stone. Retail price is twenty two thirty six, and the wholesale price is fourteen ninety. And I'm going to put this in there, even though I know that it's not uh, right. God, I just love that scroll work uh, thing going around with the cubic zirconias in there uh, in the bale at the top. You just cannot go wrong. just love that. Um, here's uh, another bigger one. MTP 987 for a 12 by 16 millimeter oval. Uh, retail price is twenty three fourteen. Wholesale price fourteen forty seven. Uh, again, nice deep basket with those uh, stabilizing bars at the back. So uh, doesn't matter how deep your pavilion is, you could definitely fit it in this thing. You can also get away with a cabochon if it's uh, not a super high dome. Uh, and, and the only reason why you wouldn't want to use a super high dome cab in this is that again from the weight, right? You it end up when you're sitting on your neck because it's so front heavy. It ends up pushing, pulling forward, you know. So you end up with looking at it at an angle like this when you're it's on your neck, um, right? I mean, you guys must have seen that. Uh, I've got this lovely uh, decorative bale on the top of that, and all that kind of um, 
twisty wire scroll work and a bunch of cubic zirconias uh, set in there in you know various places. Just lovely classic uh, setting. I love that one. Uh, MTP216 for a 7 by 9 millimeter um, stone. Cabochon, cut stone, either way would work. Got these uh, three little, um, uh, I don't know, leaves uh, with uh, cubic zirconias encrusted inside them. And that lovely um, pointy shape in the bottom. Just can't go wrong. Very simple, very elegant. Gorgeous. We've got this uh, MTP214 for a 7 by 9 millimeter stone. Uh, retail price is $12.05 and the wholesale price is $8.03. Uh, again, not a super deep basket, so cabochons work great in here. Cut stones work great in there. Uh, I love this kind of off center, you know, uh, you know, scrolls at one side and, and a little bit different on the other side. Uh, cubic zirconia in there. Uh, Soldered loop and bail. Very simple, very elegant. Uh, I say that MTP214 for a 7 by 9 stone. Uh, retail price 1205 and the wholesale price is 803 And the last one in this tray, MTP992 for a 10 by 15 millimeter pair. Uh, retail price is 1373 and the wholesale price is 858 uh, simple, elegant um, seat, right? Not a super deep basket. So again, cabochons or cut stones work great. I love this uh, uh, marquise-shaped bale with the cubic zirconias in there and the little uh, curly cues up at the top. It's got the double prongs, right? Uh, and you can see those, right there. Um, so pointy uh, tip or a little bit curved tip, either will work great on this thing. Um, it's just lovely, classic. And that brings us to an hour. Yeah, one more, one more. little bit, just a little bit over an hour. Yeah. So we're getting better in that. There's three trays. We can get, we can get through three trays in an hour. We're doing better. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to go quicker as we go. Uh, but I like to, you know, impart as much information as I can about every, you know particular um, pendant as it comes to me because uh, some things are really super appropriate for some shape stones other ones maybe not so much but will still work and other ones just won't work at all uh, it just depends on your stone uh, um, and unfortunately there there's so many different uh, variations in the shape of the stone the edge geometry of cut stones you know uh, I've said before uh, I find especially aquamarines are probably the worst. Uh, not not the worst. I mean, they're lovely stones. But uh, I see this uh, happening with aquamarines more than any other stones, uh, with the possible exception of citrines. But aquamarines are definitely the worst. Where the stone itself is not super um, vivid or dark, so you end up with uh, kind of a clear stone if it's really shallow. Uh, they try to make the pavilion super deep so uh, it looks darker, um, uh, which can cause a little bit of problems sometimes depending on the setting of your stone, right? Uh, we've also had some issues with some uh, uh, cuts, uh, tourmalines, you know, where the edges <laughs> uh, of a cut stone, normally uh, the, the angle between the uh, the is like almost 90 degrees, you know, pretty much, you know. Uh, and we've seen some where the crown is, you know, whatever, that 45 degree angle, and then the, you know, from the girdle down to, into the pavilion, it starts out almost par, you know, perpendicular to to you know the uh, the crown. It's really you know uh, tricky. Sometimes you have to get in there and, and file a little bit here and there. But uh, uh, you know those kind of things uh, you learn you know from practice, and you'll know almost immediately if you get a setting and 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 bring it home and uh, try to put your stone in it. Then all of a sudden, you know, wait a minute, this is a seven by nine millimeter setting, and my stone is seven by nine, uh, but it doesn't fit perfectly. You know, it's usually always a way we can get it to work. Uh, anyway, neither here nor there. Those are for uh, uh, future episodes of our. Uh, Sylvia Findings uh, live stream, and I've already uh, 
extended this uh, video way longer than it needed to be so i'm going to quickly sign off and say uh, stay healthy stay sane uh, keep uh, being creative take care of yourself take care of the planet uh, take care of your mental health <laughs> uh, wear a mask and uh, we will talk to you next week oh no oh, next no, week next week, no, close. next week we i we i don't know we might we just Keep apprised on Facebook and stuff because next Wednesday here is a statutory holiday, so we'll be closed. But uh, we might move it to Thursday or something. I don't know. We haven't really talked it through. I think we just realized um, this we morning. Moved, Although we moved it the week after. Well, we'll just move it to the week after. Okay. So, so there's no live stream next week, the 11th. Uh, it'll go to the uh, 18th. I guess that is the date. Would be the date because uh, I can do the math. Add seven to 11. Um, See you next week. Uh, not next week. See you in two weeks. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay. We're good.